Welcome to the Nosh Podcast. My name is Jerry Bang and today I have a special guest and I will co-host this podcast with... Today is a special program with new format. So, uh, Nosh Podcast, the program is being broadcast from Binboard. Binboard is a good restaurant where you can come with your family, with your sweetheart, or even with your classmate. There are a lot of good services which are offered here, and Jerry Bang is going to tell you which are the service. Jerry Bang. <laughs> yeah, as my friends say, this podcast is sponsored by Binboard Chino Walter. If you are here in India, Andhra Pradesh, Vishakhapatnam, this is the perfect place, as my co workers say. Uh, this is the perfect perfect place to have uh, a meeting, to have a dating, and to enjoy with your family. But also, today we are talking about a very specific and interesting topic. But I can have more forward before I introduce my special guest, my sister. <laughs> can you look on the camera and introduce yourself by telling your name, where are you from, and what are you doing here in Novaiza? Oh, okay. I'm Sandra Eram Abwate. I'm a Ghanaian from Ghana and I'm a law student, fourth year law student in Andhra University. Okay, law student. That's a very Hello, interesting. <laughs> That's a very interesting for the topic that we have today. Because today we are going to talk about international student and story, untold story. So, what do you think about it, my friend Dino? <laughs> Relax and enjoy because today the topic is very, but very important. So, what do you think about untold story? Okay, untold story are usually stories that are connected with us, which was not shared yet with someone else. So, these are basically a lot of in private information that you have in your own and it will just come up according to the question that will be made. Yeah, uh, what about you, Sandra? What do you think about untold story? What does I think, it mean? I think... You can put some law <laughs> on it, but explain it, my sister. I think untold stories are basically things we go through that we hardly tell people, like secret deep things that we don't tell people because we smile but inwardly we go through a lot so i think basically untold stories are just deep things we hide from the public yeah yeah you use a perfect word for this episode deep story as a young man we know that we have been facing a lot of struggles and we have been traumatized with many things that happened during our journey in a specific place. I believe that if you are an international student, wherever you are, are from, uh, I believe that during your journey here on the herb, we have been facing many different issues. And there are some stories that you don't tell to no one. Believe me, no one. And this story can traumatize you. Yeah. It can be from your family, it can be from a relationship, it can be for accident or something that happened with you in the past that stay in your mind for a while and you only open yourself to share with some other people. So let's start talk about this, this subject because I believe that our point of view will save many people life and uh, our discussion also will exactly. <laughs> open someone's <laughs> minds. So, Let's start uh, talking about relationship and culture. Uh, as we know, we are all international students, Definitely. right? Uh, and we came from a place that is totally different from this place. So, uh, the relationship between locals and international students is not easy, that we taught. And we face many challenges barriers of communication, cultural differences, the way of people approach, the way that they behave in public. So how do you think the relationship and cultural differences affect or broad untold story between the international student communities? 
It's it's difficult because Can um, you speak more louder, please? <laughs> it's it's very difficult. Yep. Because back home, I'll give an example. Back home, when someone approaches me, the first thing he or she does is hi or good morning or good yep. evening. But over here, you can just be walking and someone will just be like, which country? I'm like, hey, come on. Chill. Chill. Like, you, you have to respect the greetings. It's very important. Yeah. So if you don't greet us like that, it's difficult to respond to whatever question you have next. Yeah. And secondly, too, they are not used to the vibe we have from home. Sometimes yeah. so we would want to do certain things and they would want to do a different thing altogether. So it's a bit difficult. Communication, the language, they can't hear us well. They can't understand us. I can say a certain word and they'll be like, what am I saying? So I have to repeat myself for like five times. And it's quite difficult repeating yourself. So it's very, very difficult. So you pointed out something which drew me attention, saying like uh, usually people when try to approach you, they just came and ask from which country exactly, are you? Yeah. So I would like to know what have you been done when usually people ask you this question and knowing that most of people from this region know only Nigeria and South Africa. Mm -hmm. you, you see, the thing is, I haven't, I personally haven't corrected any Indian or any other people outside my beliefs because I feel they should know. We Africans know. Yeah, for sure. We definitely know because I can't approach you and be like, which country are you from? Like, it's just weird, yeah. naturally. It's very weird. But I have to approach you and be like, oh, hi, or good evening, or good afternoon. But with the Indians, even when you correct them, hey, it's, it's still going to repeat itself because they are used to it and they don't see anything wrong with it because they, don't, they didn't grow up that way. We grew up greeting people or greeting elderly people before giving the next questions. But for them, they are used to it and you can't blame them for it either. But I think we should work more on correcting them when approaching other people from different cultural perspectives. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, I believe that culture is something very tough to correct, you know? Yeah. When some people, they grow up like this, and to try to introduce something in their mind, it will be more difficult. That's true. You know, and we have also to try to respect the other people's views. Because I believe that if they go to our countries, do you also find some some things weird and strange? Yeah. yeah so it's, it's the difference. Yeah. We just have to balance and accept our differences. No, but but you know we can learn and unlearn. <laughs> yeah, exactly. for sure. So it will depend on the location. Yeah. So yeah. right now we are here. Uh -huh. We are learning their culture. Yeah. Regardless, definitely we'll go back to our countries and we'll say, okay, in India they do this. And they do that. Yeah. You're also sending the communication across to your fellow country mates. So it's it's just learning and then unlearning some things. Oh, for sure. All right. So as you mentioned, like uh, usually they come and ask from which country are you, and uh, of course knowing that you are a Ghanaian, uh, you are a Ghanaian. Yeah. So uh, when you say. I am from Ghana because I have already met a lot of people and once I said I'm from Angola and they don't even know where, <laughs> where it stays Angola and uh, I don't know if it has happened with you as well. I've experienced that I've, every time. I wouldn't say maybe like 80% experience on that but usually when I tell them Ghana they give me this facial expression. So then I have to say West Africa. <laughs> you see? Now you have to start giving have, geography classes. Yes, I have to say West Africa because all they know is South Africa. You get it? Yeah. So they don't hear much of the East, the Northern side of Africa, and then the West Africa. So 
you guys are taking this serious. Let, <laughs> let's chill. Uh, chill and relax a little bit because this is not a, an interview. This is a oh, podcast. Sure, sure. So we should talk and try to share our thoughts. So the thing is, uh, as an Africans also, we, we break many hearts. I'm talking about the men's hmm. men side, especially. Yeah, a lot. Locally a lot. and internationally. Every yeah. all the and I believe that you have heard <laughs> story about people hey. who are broken this time <laughs> by their heart. So, uh, although you have met people from different parts of Africa, mm -hmm. you have met also people from different cultures and different thoughts. Mm -hmm. So, how is it between the community? How many breakups have you heard, or have you faced one? <laughs> <laughs> hey, <God>. uh, <laughs> tell me, Sandra. <laughs> you mean break up here or back home? Which one? Ah, you are free. You, <laughs> you are free to speak. Oh. <laughs> okay, personally. Uh huh. Um, break up. Well, I have a different perspective on break up. Oh, we are so, listening. For me, I haven't personally experienced breakup. Oh! Personally. That's interesting. People, please, <laughs> check well in this camera. She never, never. I, I haven't yet experienced breakup. Never yet. Yes. The, the word yet is there because so I know... So what is a breakup? Just don't. It's when you commit yourself to someone mm -hmm. and the person tends to disappoint you. Okay. That's that's my definition of breakup. Oh, since you were born, nobody has disappointed. People have disappointed me. No. But I won't well, term that as a breakup. Oh. Exactly. Because my perspective is definitely people will disappoint you. Yes. So I don't dwell much when people disappoint me. I just go with the flow. How about you, Lino? Since you're gay, <laughs> how many breakups have you heard? <laughs> so Tell me, my friend. Yeah, so this is a, a very good question. Mm. As a matter of fact, I was not, or even I did not break up anyone, mainly in visor, and mm. uh, I'm still single. So, oh, yeah. Nah. I'm available. Repeat this. <laughs> Repeat this in the camera, please. Yeah. Because there are many people watching on this night. Yeah, I'm still single. So, but I tried, of course, I tried to go. In to this, meet some new people? Yes, I tried to know some people, but unfortunately, things did not occur the way I expected. So, but. Um, Usually people break up because not that they want to break or even they want to, to disappoint you. Because when you came, I'm talking concretely in Visor. So in Visor, this is like a championship. Oh, yeah. championship. Explain well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Explain well. <laughs> I'm interested so, in this word. Yeah. So now, in terms, in wow. terms of relationship, in mm -hmm. Vizag, is like you are playing a Champions League. Oh! Yeah, it is. Really? Yeah. Wow. It, okay. It, it is like playing in Champions League. So to win, you need to do your best. Oh! Yeah, you need to be the best. Oh my God! <laughs> in one girl, uh -huh. you'll find more than 10 guys. Jesus yeah, Christ. more than 10 guys. That's and... our coming. <laughs> <laughs> what you have to... Wait, wait, wait. Don't finish. What you have to... I'll come in. Say something about it. Because Listen, you're part Charlie... of this community that is there, <laughs> that it is a champion. See, champion I, league. I don't disagree with the fact that it's uh -huh, a champion league. Ah, Sandra. So you are telling me now wait. that there are 10 guys around you. And even more. Than this. More. See. Are you... <laughs> More men, men are hunters. Uh -huh. They would hunt. Oh. Men are competitors. Ah, okay. I they would agree. want to compete. Yeah. 
If you know Alvaro Miranda, <laughs> check him on Instagram. My fellow bro, the most competitive guy in the like, <laughs> They are very competitive. So yeah. when a man knows what he wants and what mm. he likes, mm. he would go for it, regardless of whether there's another man there or not. I mean, there's no ring on the finger. You, hey. Yeah, but do you think being a hunter, uh, you know, let's suppose if you have a boyfriend mm -hmm. and I'm going to come after you. Okay. So there's no need to give me hope that you will accept me. But you have to tell me the truth that you are already engaged. So I will drop it out. You see, you but said not engaged. Use it. There's yeah. a difference. Oh, yeah, but there's, there's me a this difference. Is, so when me. you are, so Be. means no, when, no, yeah, yeah, let no. me finish. Let me finish. When you are in a relationship uh -huh. dating with a boyfriend, exactly. so it means that you are engaged with this guy. It means that you are committed with this guy no, in, that, in the relationship wait, 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 as a boyfriend. Wait, 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 wait. You're using the wrong word in the wrong context. Please, okay. please, Sandra, <laughs> just give me five minutes. This podcast is sponsored by Beamboard China Walters. If you are here in Vizak, Andhra Pradesh, India, don't forget to come on this place. You will have the perfect food and the perfect meal. If you are also looking for a place to have a date, to work remotely, uh, to have a good environment while you are studying, Beamboard is the location. So tell me, Sandra, what are you drinking on this time? Mm, I'm having strawberry shakes strawberry shake and then cookie yeah cookies. and then i have my strawberry lemonade oh my god <laughs> you love it i do oh uh, what about you Lina? so i have here milkshake milkshake yeah and i can see that the conversation is very interesting <laughs> and you are almost finishing your your drink also <laughs> on this time so as you can see on the table we have this uh chicken roll we also have the cookie cookie Cookie, <laughs> and we also have this lemonade, uh, and I really, fully recommend you because it's very tasty and amazing. So, go back to our subject. Yeah, back so, to our subject. Till now, I'm scared <laughs> because you confirmed that you yeah. say ten guys for one girl, and you say more. Yeah, I, I mean more. Yeah. So my question is. Imagine if this girl would have many guys around her mm -hmm. and she thinks that she finds the guy, the right one, and this guy disappoint, mm -hmm. disappoint her. So, how do you feel that she will overcome the situation, knowing that she's very far from home, okay. very far from her comfort zone, very far from her friends? and here alone how do you think that this girl can overcome this situation okay um firstly everyone deals with disappointments or breakups differently okay so for you to be far from home one mm. for you to be far from your close friends you used to be before you came to this place too oh. it's it's very painful some would want to go explore themselves somewhere with the nature some would want to drink their hearts out mm -hmm. some would want to cry in their rooms some guys will go to the gym some like me. exactly some would recently i read something you heard something i read something oh and you heard what i heard that they said most of the guys that go to the gym most of the guys yes it's not because they want to go to the gym. It's because they have issues. <laughs> oh. So they want to go and release you agree with this, the stress <laughs> by gym. Let her finish. <laughs> by gym. In. And it's also good. Oh. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. It's a good thing. I mean, if that is what will make you okay, you can do that. Oh. Some would want to drink. Some would want to just be in their room. Oh. And some tend to focus on their education much better, much better with the breakup. So what do you think about it? So it depends on personal perspective. So it depends on personal perspective because when you want some <coughs> yeah, when you want something to achieve, then you go uh, you go ahead, you go looking for this. 
but when you don't, when you are not focused on gym, then you will not be focused on gym. You, you'll be focused on some other issues which you see that are paramount important for you. Uh, one of the examples, I want to go to the gym, but I see as a second object, objective. So I prefer to focus more on some other issues which are my priority than gym. But when I find time, when I'll be set up with everything, yeah, I'll try to go to gym. Oh, yes. But not, you know, trying to have a good look uh, in order to cause impression on the girls. Oh, hey. <laughs> Many people, they look better when they break up. Even girls and boys. Girls and guys, yeah, yeah they look they extra good. They start care of themselves yeah, after they break. take care of themselves. I mean, it's I mean, it's a natural thing. Is that when you thing? when you break up with a person, you then come to a realization that oh, okay, I need to take care of myself. Oh, yeah. But what blocked you to take care of yourself even though you are in the relationship? Because you love the person so much that you put the person. Nah. I have a friend. And first, I have a friend. Uh huh. Alvaro Miranda, the one that I told you <laughs> to check on your Instagram. He always, always when we go out, he always, he always is knocking my head. You have to buy something for your girl to make her look beautiful. You know, you have to take care of her, and he always pushing. He already showed me that he's a man who, when he's dating, he take care of the girl. And he pushed her girlfriend to take care of herself also. You don't depend on the breakup to take care of yourself. So, this beautiful Sandra that we are seeing here, we only see when she's single. If, you, me, I if think you start dating, it will change? No, me, you see, mm. before you'd want to move into a relationship, you should know your worth. Oh. Exactly. What is the worth? You should, you should know your value. Right. Of value, you don't just move into a relationship. Okay. Knowing your value, when you move into a relationship, it doesn't destroy what you know about yourself. Mm -hmm. So it's like it's going to add up to what you value about yourself. Because if you value yourself, you would know how to value someone. So it all starts from you. Then you can now take it or carry it to someone so that's it <laughs> <laughs> so Sandra knowing that breakup can be tough for everyone and mainly for international student who is far away from his home how a student can balance when it happens a hard break during the exam time. Hey, that one. Is World okay. War Three. World War Three. I think I think that one should be World War Five because hey, it's it's not easy. Like having to write thirty two pages or more, and then you have this emotional depression and emotional breakdown. It's mm -hmm. it's not going to be easy, first of all. But I would advise. Balance it. Balance it? It's difficult to balance too as well. Mm -hmm. But I think before you would want to approach your exams, you should talk to the person that broke your heart or the person you broke the person's heart. Because communication clears a lot of things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you come telling me, okay, you don't want us to be in a relationship again, mm. and blah, 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 blah. Then I'll ask you why. Oh yeah, because you don't you don't take it personal. Uh, you have your reason. Uh, it will be disappointing. Sandra, wait, wait. Uh, you it don't will, take it, it personal. It will be disappointing and hurtful. But you have to listen to the person as well. Communication clears a lot of things. Okay, now I agree that communication clears a lot of things. Mm -hmm. But men and women, they are. Two human beings totally different. True. One is more emotional than the other. Who is more emotional? Women are more emotional. Mm. That's why you guys are pure. Some men are nature. emotional. You know? Yeah, some men some are also men. emotional. Yeah. But can you tell me, in the scale of zero to ten, 
how many women will not take it personal when their partner come and say that I don't want to be in this relationship anymore? Mm. <laughs> Can you tell me one that will say, nah, let's see it and let me try to understand why you want to finish with me? Well, when it happens like that, emotions take place. Uh -huh. Some will react by slapping, beating, yeah. scattering things. And you, you will take a knife, I believe also. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Please, so. Yeah. I, I, I won't kill, but I'll kill. <laughs> okay. Now, the other side is also the man. Tell me again, if your girlfriend, you ask. You are single, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah look at the camera and say, you yeah. are single, right? I'm still single. Yeah. So, mm. my question is if one day you start dating and your girlfriend comes to you and say that, I don't want to be in this relationship anymore. We are finished. <laughs> you won't take it so personal, you will be rational and yeah, just say, it is what it is. It is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> uh? So, um, in fact, this is uh, this question. It requires to respond with, you know, with a lot of responsibility. Oh, As I, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 As you I, are feeling <laughs> the responsibility. <laughs> yeah. Um, usually, when it happens, break up. Yeah, we cannot take it only that men are the one who break up. Mm -hmm. Women too do also break up, and uh, I have experienced. Oh, we want to listen to this. Story. Hallelujah! <laughs> Tell me, <laughs> how was your experience? <laughs> yeah, in fact, uh, I have experienced, uh, you know, this feeling and uh, telling you the truth it was not good uh, because she finished you know with, without uh, without a specific reason actually we were uh -huh. at, yeah actually we were are at, you fine <laughs> <laughs> ask again please are, are you fine are, are you, you fine now <laughs> are you, are you uh, okay so by the time i will heal myself Okay. Yeah, I am not healed yet. But okay. By the time you I see why I asked if you are fine. What was you it, see? Bro? <laughs> uh -huh. I thought that it, it is an old story. Come on, man. Yeah. Uh, as I was saying, mm. um, so it was not easy, and uh, by the time I will overcome it, so it was hard for me to receive that, that information without a reason. And we were at the beginning of our relationship. So uh, I was, or even she was already my priority and receiving the information that she is going to break up or that she doesn't want to be anymore with me. So I felt like the whole world finished, but yeah, I had to find to find out, you know, new strength to encourage myself and How to focus. And life goes on. Yeah. How did you life... find this strength? Where? At the gym. <laughs> 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 Not at the gym because uh, I don't go to the gym. Yeah, I have found <clears> the strength <throat> on my books and on my mu on my music because I have the music as the best therapy in the world That's and true. I like to sing although I am not a singer but I like to sing then I found the strength on the music yeah I have also many friends who, who love to sing in the bathroom especially <laughs> when they're taking shower right hey it's a different <laughs> Sandra thing. is one of them also <laughs> so coming to the subject untold storage uh, as international students financial is also one of the struggles and that, that we was face. Also, and that was also untold, untold story. Untold. Which, yeah, untold story which you came to know right now. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. So, uh, being far from the family, we have also faced financial issues. All the students who are far from the family, even the Indians when they move from hmm. to, to another state, they also face some financial struggle. So, what was the, your strategy to survive? 
during these four years, right? You are on fourth year yeah. now, right? So during this time, what was your strategy to survive? Hmm. Financial hmm. strategy. Financial. Because <clears throat> as soon as money arrives, you have a bills to pay. Bills to pay. Yeah. Amazon's delivery. Zo <coughs> Flipkart, SSL, Zozo, Ebanek. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, you see, if if before leaving home, I was told you should know where you're coming from. Yo. Please, please, can you repeat your sentence to the camera, please? <laughs> because yeah, uh, I was... this is one thing that many international students forget when they yeah. go abroad. Yeah. So repeat it. Please. Is it I was told before coming here that I should know where I'm coming from. Yeah. And it has never left me ever since I got here. Wow. When you know where you're coming from, you know how to spend. Yeah. Repeat, please. Repeat. <laughs> I need a remix. <laughs> when you know where you're coming from, uh -huh. you know how to spend your money. Wow. No one is saying don't buy good things for yourself. Buy them but know how, how to spend. So basically, that, you, I mean, we tend to forget ourselves where we are coming from and then live the life that we are not even there yet. You. Like, this is the life we want and this is where we are, but we struggle to get here and we can't manage it up here. Yeah, for sure. But you can manage it up here, but you choose not to manage it down here you want to go up here because you have traveled from your country to another place to another place like sure. the pressure is small it's getting worse yeah. so it gets to you quickly mm -hmm. and then you get to this place and you forget of yourself like you start to spend money you don't cook you shop the clothes you want to wear even if you can't afford it you buy it and then you go broke early then that's where it hits you. Yes. That's okay. I did something stupid. And when the money comes again, it repeats itself. So if you know where you're coming from, it's when you're spending too much. I don't know if people feel this, but when you tend to spend too much, mm -hmm. I feel, I have that feeling like, mm, I need to say to myself that I talk to myself that you are spending too much. So reduce it. I say this to myself in my room. If only my pillows and bed can talk, they'll tell you. You are spending too much. So I tend to talk to myself and then I reduce or cut my spending for like a month or two. So I'm broken this time. Can you borrow me some money? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, then. We'll leave that for later. We'll talk about it later. <laughs> We'll talk about so guys, uh, yeah. as you can uh, <clears throat> learn from Sandra, uh, she, she said a very important sentence that I believe that most of the youngsters on this time, they should take this sentence for life. Know where you come from and you know how you are going to spend. Uh, there is a sentence in the Portuguese, they say that viver no se mita. Yeah, it is like you cannot copy how other people live. You will die. Yeah, <laughs> if you don't have money to afford it, don't ever try it, man. Live according to your standard, but dream above your standard. There are two things different. So, Lily, so on your. <clears throat> so, Sandra, uh, you know, many students usually come. Many students usually come to India. Uh, with a lot of expectation sure. and the perspective. So how a student can face up the expectation that does not match with the reality in Visa, that he finds in Visa? Please come again. <laughs> no, even. So many people before coming to India mm -hmm. think that India is a country where he will find a huge building, uh, good infrastructures, mm -hmm. you know, a fantastic country or even a country like a dream that he has dreamed before. So when you came, how did you find the reality? How did you match the reality? I'm a victim of this question. 
Okay, share, when I, share, <laughs> share with us your story. When I was coming to India, mm -hmm. I had this expectation that um, it's going to be cold, mm -hmm. the weather is going to be cold, and I'm going to save a lot of money, and I'm going to study well, and I'm going to balance my life financially, relationship-wise, I'm not going to come here and date. I'm just going to focus on my school and then bounce out of this place. But when I got here, uh -huh. a lot changed. The weather was not good. The drinking water was bad. Bathing water was bad. And you have to find ways to transport yourself to college. Mm -hmm. Because the ladies' hostel was far from my college. So I had to ways and means and manage myself. But during those process, I learned how to manage myself. Yeah, but which yeah, you know, the aspect of reality that uh, draw your attention, draw your attention. Hmm. A, lot. A lot. I can't. I can't even pinpoint. Which yeah. One. Can you share some? This is really helping. Sorry for interrupting you. And Jerry is drinking my strawberry <laughs> lemonade. <laughs> a lot. Um, I'll first of all start with the weather because that shifted my So how is the weather in Ghana? The highest we've ever gone is 27, 32. I think during that, that's the highest we can go in between. But this place we got, I think last year we got like 51 40. degrees. Yeah, yeah. 40, 51 40 degrees, is, exactly. Yeah. Like, that's too much to bear. That's like saying I can fry an egg in the sun. And it was too much for my skin. And then too much for me because I found it very difficult to stay. I'm but not... You were strong. I am strong. I'm disappointed. But sometimes I fall short of my strength. <laughs> So, the, the sun was killing me, and I couldn't study well, and it was too hot, I couldn't manage myself that well, but that was my first year, so it was very, very difficult for me, like very difficult, and that was when it shook me, like something just hit me, okay, I'm growing, and I have to adapt to my new environment. So I have to, I had to, I have no choice and to adapt to it. What about the expectation of studying in India? Hmm, I'm not saying this to brag, mm -hmm. but when I was coming here, mm -hmm. I thought I would be the top of my class. <laughs> <laughs> what? You thought what? You know, I mean, this is a good motivation. back in my country, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. no, you, at least yeah. I was somewhere. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. You get it. So I was like, okay, well, let me just come in. Mm. Hey, but when I came, I was hearing 32 pages. I'm like, 32? How am I supposed to write 32 pages? Because back home, you don't get 32 pages. You get not even more than five pages. So how am I supposed to write 32 pages? So it was, it was very difficult. When my first results came out, I didn't do bad. I didn't do bad. I'm like, okay, these people are brilliant, first of all. Indians are brilliant. But the mistake I made was I felt since I was good back home, I will be good here as well. Mm -hmm. So I think that's what surprised me a bit. And what did change? Hey, one thing changed, and that thing is, I'm okay where I am. I didn't have bad results. I didn't have bad results. They were good, but I felt content with what I got. There is no way an international student, you would write an exam and they will give you the same marks as the Indians. Whoa. It's, it's not possible. This is bars. <laughs> See, it, if you know that, you would do your best. You would do right. 
even if you want to write extra sheets, you would do that. But there's no way they would give you the same as the Indians. Where you know this, you know, you, you just have to do your best and leave the rest to God. So like this? <laughs> <laughs> do your best then. Leave, leave the rest to God, honestly. Uh, uh, hey. right. So like this, you, 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 you want to, you mean that the process of corrections are not fair? I don't want to say anything to, <laughs> but if I should, I think maybe it would cause a lot of issues. But I think that can be worked on with the Indian system. I mean, they should be fair. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so, coming to academic life and social life, you have been here for a while. How do you balance it? I have a lot of principles. <laughs> okay, with that one, there's time for everything. There's time to study, and there's time to have fun. When it's time to study, I study. When it's time to have fun, I have fun mm. to the fullest. How to have fun in Vice Academy? As introduction to the student. Our definition of having fun in Vice is yeah. going out, mm -hmm. taking pictures. <laughs> I didn't know that taking pictures is also having fun. Ordering for food. Ordering for food? Yes. Yeah. And some activities like bowling and then going for some games. Well, that's basically the definition of fun in Vizag. And what about home? How is to have fun? Home. home. And balance with academic life. Home. Balancing academics and social life was very easy for me mm -hmm. because um, what I don't go out that often back home. Usually whatever we do is in the house. If we want to have fun in the house, we can cook mm -hmm. and then for a large family and then we all eat. Hey, talking about food, do you know how to cook jollo from Ghana? Hey, but yeah. I'm from Ghana. Which one is the best? The Nigerian Jollo for Ghana Jollo? Well, I've tasted both. Mm. And Be I, fair, I, please. I, I don't even like to talk about this. Be question. fair, please. <laughs> we have cameras here. <laughs> I've, I've tasted both. I've tasted uh, Gambia Jollo. I'm here to that taste thing Gambia is Jollo. Yo, and I saw angels. You saw Angel? Yeah, I never tried oh, then when you Nigerian eat, when you eat Ghana. Ghana Jello, you, you be in heaven. So, be fair enough, which one is the best one? Hey, I don't like to answer this question. <laughs> <laughs> Leave this on you. But I would say both of them are the best, mm. if you ask me. So. But of course, I'll choose Ghana Jello over Nigerian Jello. I will choose. I'm you not saying choose? Ghana is the best one, yeah. You will choose Ghana. Mm. Are you being fair? I'm being fair. Oh. God bless you. I'm being fair. <laughs> you see, the Nigerian jollof, the grains are big. But the Ghana jollof, the grains are small. And I, I don't. Have to test. I don't. I don't like. If you are in the international student grain, community yes. and you know how to do Nigerian jollof and Ghana jollof, please, we are open to, to test eat. it here. Yes. <laughs> and to decide which one will be the best. <laughs> Sandra, as a, as a human being, mm -hmm. we are also a social being. Uh, how to, yes, how to balance academic excellence with social life? How to balance? I don't think everyone has it all perfect to balance that. No one no one has it perfect to balance social life and academic life but one way or the other we have to so when it's time to study it's time to study so, when yeah. it's time to have fun it's time to have fun me personally i'm not hell-bent on having good academic platforms when you actually don't know what to play it's like you tend to agree with the greats but you don't know the subject matter of what you've learned. 
that's that's like you failed but in the eye of the people you are doing well but you have failed yeah because Sparse. I, yeah i've been seeing <laughs> i have been seeing a lot of students uh, that have a lot of pressure coming from from school and they forget uh, that apart of being a student they are also a social being and they forget they forget to to be socialized to be with people, be people. and when you don't do this of course it affects also your academic mm -hmm. life yeah. it does it does a lot and i don't even like those kind of people so I, <laughs> no. honestly i don't why because but they love to study i know you love to study i'm not saying it's a wrong thing but no. hey i don't enjoy a company of such people how have you been with one of them here in bed? Y yes, and it's very boring. <laughs> <laughs> it's very boring. Why it's boring? I, I, I don't know, but it's very boring. I would want to talk of intellectual things with you. Mm -hmm. But sometimes I want to ease myself. I want to... I don't want to talk about school. To go out from the academic environment. Exactly. I want to... I'm out of it. So, like, let me be out of it. So you will never date a nerd? No, no. I called. No, no. I think <laughs> But I think um, it's quite difficult. If you don't have a social life, it's difficult. It's and difficult. It's, it's very difficult. If you don't have a social life mm -hmm. and you are good with academics, mm -hmm. it's difficult. If you are good with social life uh -huh. and you are not good with <coughs> academics, it's also difficult. <coughs> So it's all about balancing. Uh -huh. But if you ask me how to solve that, I think it's better we sometimes go out of our comfort zone. Thanks yeah. God I have uh, experienced the two sides of the story. I have met people who are very introverted. Mm -hmm. They like to be at home only studying and chilling, only at home. And there are those people who go like out a lot, go. but they mark is the top level. Oh, yeah, th those ones too, they are too much. <laughs> <laughs> they are too much. Yeah, too it's much. just a matter of balancing. Balancing, yeah. So my question is, um, India also is famous because of the healthcare system. And um, can you share some uh, personal story or someone near to you who get injured had an accident, which he was took to the hospital. I know that you girls are very sensible. You can get an infection. We care too much. Yes. <laughs> and how was it? They, how they took care of you guys? And okay. How was the structure? Because even back home, the public institutions are totally different than From the private. Yeah. yeah. So, how was it for you? Did you experience it? For me, the experience was was good. But when it came to paying the bills, it wasn't good. <laughs> so, it so wasn't good. this story. It wasn't good. Why the bill was so high? It wasn't too high, but I didn't expect it that way. I mean, it's a hospital, so I didn't expect the bill to go that high. But their services were good. Mm -hmm. I've not experienced the public or the government hospitals here in India, but I've experienced the private ones. Mm -hmm. And they are good so far. I've just been to one or two. Yeah. Yeah, so they are good. But I wouldn't say it's my experience, it's someone, else. someone else's yeah. experience. But what I saw. How was the bill? The, bi <laughs> the bill was billing. I didn't see the bill personally, but the person told me uh -huh. it was a lot. But one thing I didn't like is I had a friend who had an accident and the stitching. Yeah. It wasn't stitched well. Because back home, when they stitch you, mm -hmm. it's not going to be too obvious that they've stitched you. Yeah. But this one, it's like they were dealing with the cloth, not the skin. Yeah. It's like you're dealing with. A material and they've stitched it in a way that you see after you're done sewing 
so it's it's that's just dropped my trust in that hospital where he was so don't drive so fast <laughs> use helmet also <laughs> so yeah but hey i give it a nine over ten nine for the 10. indian health services here honestly yeah. me as well uh, like it's good. although some public institution the structure is very old yeah some are old but the doctors are the best ones yeah good yeah, yeah. I have experienced it and um, yeah, it was such a nice experience but I was just afraid because of the, cha the structure. Charges. For the public one, yo, yo, yo. Yeah, I was sick. Uh, this my my fellow took me there to the hospital. Yeah, they told me to lie down on the bed, I just sit. I couldn't because that thing was brown and yeah. But the doctors are very cool. Yeah, they are very good. So, uh, mm -hmm. actually my experience was similar as uh, she faced, you know, uh, the infrastructures and the way they assist you, it's fantastic. Mm. And I appreciate it so much. Yeah. So, uh, I went in one of the hospitals with, <laughs> with my boy called mm. Batista. <laughs> yeah, and uh, when we reached in that hostel yeah yeah we appreciated so they gave they gave to me a card in a single meaning that was quickly uh, with all my de my details but at that time i was completely broken <laughs> yeah yeah at that time i was completely broke and uh, i did not fulfill the prescriptions and uh, all other treatments that I were, I should be, or even it should be done. But the service, yeah, it's incredible. And you know, one thing is, um, how do I even put it? They know what they are doing. The doctors know yeah. what they are doing. Wow. And they wouldn't beat around the bush. In Africa, they'll beat around the bush. Like that. <laughs> yeah, they'll tell you, is this? <laughs> Then Are the next day you come is this one. So it's like they beat around the bush. But this one they go straight up to you. That's yep. this is what you're experiencing and this is and what we straight, have to do. Straight to the point. Straight to the point. And yeah. that's it's very nice. At least you know that okay, this is what you're facing or this is what you're experiencing and this is how to prevent it. And this is what you have to do as a patient to us. But hey, the Indians are good, honestly. Yeah. So as in the road the culture can also crash. Mm, yeah. Can you also face some um, uh, similarities or differences? My culture from home. Mm -hmm. Comparing to India, mm. how do you think uh, between the culture from Ghana and India? Mm -hmm. In which point they crash and in which point they match? Yeah, match. they match. Yeah. There are a lot of crashes. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know of the merging, but there are a lot. A lot. Like what? Be specific. One, as I earlier said, the greeting. Mm -hmm. That's a crash. Greeting. Like, yeah. it's, it's even off. If, if an Indian should approach me and. Would you be alive <laughs> if it was at home? If you were at home, uh, hey, passing you, in front of your mom without saying no. You can't do that. <laughs> now my question is that if you would be alive, you, no, no, you wouldn't even survive the next five seconds. <laughs> Honestly, because it's like seeing an elderly person yeah. and you pass without greeting them. Hey, it's not possible. It's never possible. Mm. That's for one. And secondly, the way sometimes they can shout. Yeah. Like they will shout from someone standing far will be shouted from I'm like, hey, you can just walk to the person. Uh -huh. And then when it comes to some of their traditional stuff they do here, it's way different from what we have. Okay. For instance, they have some tradition where I think it's a season where you have to bow down to your sister or your Whoa. Yeah. The ladies bow down to their brothers oh. whether older or younger 
you have to bow down to them for them to bless you. But you, the lady, can't do that. That's interesting. Very interesting. Mm -hmm. You, the lady, cannot do that. And I was like, why? I mean, back home, I can tell my brother, you are blessed. And he will tell me, I'm also blessed. It's reciprocal. Yeah. But over here, it's only the guy that can bless the lady. But the lady cannot bless. That's interesting. <laughs> so bless me. You have, to, you have to pay. Bless me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm your brother. Bless me. So those are the few things I think. It's a, there are other things I'll crush, but that's what I can remember for now. All right. So we are coming almost at the end, but we still have some questions. Uh, actually, discrimination and the stereotypes. So discrimination is unfair process. Uh, unfair process by distinguishing one person from another on the, on the basis of race, religion, language, uh, sexual orientation. Complexion. Uh, so have you experienced one of these similarities in, in the Shad Patna? <laughs> yeah, I have. So how did you feel? I felt, I felt very sad. Because before we became an Angolan, an Indian, a Ghanaian, a Mozambique, like before we became citizens of those people, we are first humans. So if you are treating someone like this, first of all, we are human beings. Yeah. That we should think about. Before having to think, <clears throat> this person is from this country or that country. So I felt really bad. Sometimes it's very annoying because when they come to our country, we don't do them like that. We treat them even more than we treat our fellow people. So for you to come here and then be like experiencing something like this, it's heartbreaking. One, you're coming far from home. That alone is a trauma on its own. Secondly, you are going to stay here on your own. You manage everything by yourself. That alone is a trauma. For someone to discriminate you just because my skin is different from your skin and my hair is different from your hair, it's, it's hard to believe. Like, it's very sad. It's very, very sad. Some would see you and they wouldn't want to even touch you. Okay. It's crazy. It's yeah. very you crazy. You by your words how painful it is. Because it I, is. I hear many stories from our sisters, from our brothers, that um, they have been facing the same thing. It is. Yeah, as international students, foreigners, we all face this discrimination stereotype. And so some of women the shout at you like, like an mm. animal. It's, it's crazy. There is one Angolan <coughs> girl who went to deal with a FRO in Pune and the police split in her face. Yeah. <coughs> like, leave this place. This is my country and all those things. <coughs> uh, when she reported to the university, the only thing that they could do is to talk with the police and nothing. Yeah, That's, it's very deep, it's, especially for, for the girls, it's more deep, you know. It's, as a it's, man, yeah, we can yeah. face it and overcome it's it's it, but it, as a girl, it. and somehow they, they feel unprotected, yeah. They feel lonely, they feel unsafe, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, but on the other hand, we also stereotype people. Uh, when we see an Indian back home, we stereotype them like uh, if it is an Indian, this guy must know how to dance and how to sing. <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 yeah, at but least it's, it's a good thing. Yeah, you know? it's different. So yeah. actually, there are two types of stereotype: yeah. negative and positive. Positive. Yeah. That is positive yeah. because that does not bring something bad, bad. to him. Definitely. Whereas negative. It brings something which can hurt you. 
Yeah. That's like they are praising them. Yeah, because we see them on television dancing. They are known for dancing and then music. But if you also want to dance, you can come here and be bored, check the water. <laughs> yeah. You can have the best drink, the best food, and the best quality time with your partner, with your friend, with your girlfriend, with your wife, or with your family. Exactly. This place provides a good environment, a good weather, even internet available for those who work remotely. You can come here with your computer in order to have your coffee while you are working. Or invite someone to have some special time here on the billboard. Are you guys enjoying the drink? Yeah. yeah. I, 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 I need, I need you guys, more. <laughs> you guys finish? Yeah, we will ask for more definitely. Yeah. Uh, it is a very sensitive, sensible topic. Yeah, I know that uh, many people will watch this podcast or if you are watching now on this time, you will feel touch it because sometimes you, are, you already face this problem or you are facing on this time. But if we still here, it is because we overcome. Yeah. Uh, we find different solutions for it. Yeah. Some, uh, they go to the gym. Yeah. yeah. Others listen to music. music. Others talk to friends, others talk to their parents, and also someone, some other people, some other group of people, they can read the Bible. Because yeah, if there is one for some book, of us, I read the Bible. <laughs> <laughs> if there is one book that you can find words to comfort you and to help you overcome any kind of situation, is the Bible. Yeah. So, coming to. Uh, community and voluntary engagement. As international students when we travel abroad, especially for those countries who have faced some uh, situation in some community, uh, the government expects us to contribute in something. Mm -hmm. Are you involved in some uh, voluntary service? Sandra? Personally, I'm not. Mm -hmm. I've been wanting to, but yeah. one thing that is stopping me from doing that is the language barrier. Language barrier, okay. That's one. And secondly, I feel like if I should involve myself, yeah. I would be discriminated. Like, I wouldn't be welcomed mm -hmm. because I would, they would see me as, okay, she's an international student or she's an international generally. Mm -hmm. So they would see me like disgusting, and I don't like that. <laughs> uh, actually, I am involved in some uh, where sometimes I do a voluntary service where Seriously. I go to teach English. Seriously. Of this barrier of communication. Yeah, oh, they wow. are very funny kids. Uh, they belong to the Fisher community. I can invite you to share the contact. Oh, I, I, I would love to. Honestly, I, I would I love that to. you. We I would love really love to. What about you? Are you involved, <laughs> Miss Lino? <laughs> well, to tell you the truth, I'm not involved yet. But yeah. this, you know, this question is related to a topic which make part of my program as, as president of uh, association of uh, Angolan student. In tell them, tell yeah, them, please. Yeah, yeah. Mr. Oh. President. He's the president. <laughs> Mr. Yeah. President. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, so as the president of Association of Angolan Students in Vishak Patna. Mm -hmm. So My camera, yeah, so we we will have or even there is a program where we will do some community work where we will uh, provide you know some some goods mainly for people who are Mm -hmm. homeless who are who used to sleep on the street mm -hmm. yeah so this is something which is being developed with my with my staff and you know in the right time we will make it happen that's great and i believe that the launch podcast team will be there also to record some of this activity mm -hmm. yeah, yeah and yeah. help you guys with this volunteering service yeah, so uh, we are on the end of our podcast. Is there any advice that you can share, that you can give for those students 
who are coming this year to Andhra University, Andhra Pradesh specifically. Hmm. Am I starting? I think she starts first. No, you are starting. <laughs> you are the only woman here. Um, there's a lot of work to do. Uh -huh. A lot of work to do. But work, yeah. I feel those here in AP, Andhra Pradesh, can do more because they are coming and we already know the ins and outs of this place. Mm -hmm. So for those coming, I would advise them to be patient with themselves. Okay and also enjoy the process it's not going to be easy no one said it's easy like no one ever said it was easy no one said it will be easy but, uh... <laughs> no one said it's it's going to be easy so be patient with yourself and then enjoy the journey whether it's been positive or negative but don't dwell more on the negative so that's what I have for them. All right. What about you, Ms. Lynn? Yes, yeah, so, uh, as president of the camera, uh, yeah, as president of Association of Angolan Students, yeah. this is one of uh, the programs which we will implement for all newcomers from Angola, mainly from Angola. What we will do is trying to comfort them and giving them input how to adapt the life in Vishak Patnam. Uh, so basically, we will encourage them to face the life how it has to be faced in Vishal Patnam. So, as uh, today it is a special episode, you know, I would like to ask you something. So, <laughs> yeah. wait, wait, I have something to say. Yeah. Uh -huh. I, I have something. Yeah, yeah. Oh he, he spoke of just ambulance. No. <laughs> I mean, be fair. Be fair. Be fair. Yeah, okay, okay. So, uh, basically, uh, yeah, that's my responsibility as a president. I get yeah, you yeah, and I understand is, you. Yeah, this is as a president. But, but the question was, uh -huh. those coming, he didn't specify Angolians coming. All right, all right. Yeah, that's the same, what I will do, but the priority will be focused only on Angolan. Why? Because you are the president. Exactly. Yes, that's one. Yeah. But before you became a president, uh -huh. you were a human being. Yeah. So, assuming if someone should come from a different country and you is help. stereotyping. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. That's no. what I want to go to. No. You see, it, it all starts from I'll, the mindset. I'll give you, so I'll give you a, a clear example. Okay. If 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 it if it come people from Ghana. Mm -hmm. I will not know that they came already. No, but wait, wait, I understand Angola, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what if you are walking by the roadside and someone needs help? So because the person is not an Angolan, you're not going to help the person? No, 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 no. It's a question. That's, no, that's not keep what on, I keep meant. On, keep on. That's not what but I But you meant. basically spoke of Angolans it, coming. No, no, that's what I specified. That's what I specified. But does not mean that I will give only input for Angolans who will come. No, I give my advice and input, you know, uh, as long as uh, Very good. Very good. people who are going to come across with me, or even when I'll be informed by someone that uh, there are new batch from Ghana or even from some other country exactly. that can, yeah, I'll make them, you know, to feel comfortable at church. Mm. At, yeah. My eyes will be on church. you, honestly. <laughs> My eyes is going to be. In fact, please, if you're watching and you're in Vizag, let your eyes be on him. Yeah, but if he's just <laughs> helping Angolans alone, we would know. Yeah, or but, if you are interested in helping people no, generally, uh, not just Angolans. Yeah, actually, I'm interested on helping people, but it requires information that will come from you. Me? Yeah. If you inform me, so new batch. Let, let me be clear with that no, one. No, no, please, please, I can't. Please. I can't. If wait. You need the information. Just, no, wait, just I get tell it. Just tell that I'm broke. <laughs> the information must come from you, right? Wait, yeah, yeah. wait. Mm. I can't be working. I, I'm not. I'm vying for a president for my association. Uh -huh. Uh oh. I can't. 
I can be working or I can be walking or driving in Vizac mm -hmm. and then someone needs help and I can see from afar the person needs help. I don't need information to know that the person needs help. Like me. <laughs> That's yours. I don't need help. I can't see it for myself. That so now I have to call you. Please, I've seen someone no, and, and I need information that, as to who or the person is no, before I help the person. That context. Okay. Yeah, that's not in that context. Because when I've been asking for a help, mm -hmm. yeah, I don't see the country, but I just see the people. Needs help? Okay. If I help, I'll give. Yeah. Well, then I think you, ch you should change your sentence as to what you said <laughs> that as the president of the Angolian Association, you, you are welcoming the Angolians coming. You should change that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, guys. <laughs> Thank you so much for being president of the North Podcast. I really enjoy your argument. Uh, when you were discussing, I was enjoying the chicken roll here. Yeah, but this one is the best. Thank you, you Bimbo. Thank you, Bimbo. <laughs> you all can find me on Bimbo channel also. I'm told, I'm told story. We believe that we have more to share. But unfortunately, the time is not our friend. We have to finish as soon as possible. And I also believe that what we share here can bring value to your life. And if you are facing some trouble, uh, some traumas, uh, some any kind of challenge I recommend you to get into your room close the door and pray I pray believe that God can answer your prayer and give you the perfect solution for any kind of problem that you are facing and also have a friend to talk about it this is Nosh Podcast and this episode is sponsored by Bean Gordon Channel Walter Thank you so much, Brother Lino. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was nice to have you here. My little sister from Gano, I'm hey. waiting for Joluvu. <laughs> my, my, my fellow mates from Ghana, shout out for you guys. Nicholas, Derek, Paul, the ancient of WMCA, <laughs> Priscilla, and all the guys, Yusin, Ernestina. Ernestino. <laughs> Ernestino. <laughs> yeah, all my friends from Ghana, if I forget your name, and I'm sorry, but we are on time. Shout out for you. May God bless you all. Thank you guys to be here. This yeah. is Nosh Podcast. Podcast. Yeah. One. <laughs>